Hello, and welcome to an oral history of the church, our first um, video offering on the YouTube page. This is going to be a tour of a little aspect of the library, and then we're having another video giving you a fuller tour of the, the building. So this is kind of a way of seeing what the library building was at the Mill Valley campus before they moved away to Ontario and Fremont and elsewhere. So I'm in the, the entryway right now for the library building. You can see behind me the main floor of the library out there. It's dark because um, my co-host Jonathan works for the library and so he brought us in before hours, which I requested so we wouldn't bother people with this tour. And where I'm taking you is the PhD study carols. So I'm going to walk backwards just long enough to demonstrate the hallway we're coming up on. It's uh, tucked away here in the little hallway on the mezzanine level. When it was originally built in the 80s, these were tucked away and used for um, preaching practice rooms. They were, they were built as small little units with some soundproofing built in them to uh, allow folks to come and record themselves and uh, listen back to their sermons later. So I've been renting this carol <clears throat> for years and years and now I've got to turn it in in three days. Today is Friday, May 20th, 2016 and on Monday, May 23rd the library is closing that night for good. After then, the library staff who come in are only doing so in order to pack up all the books and uh, eventually taking apart all the shelving and moving everything where it goes. So, uh, for for us right here, this is what a, a study carol looks like. One of the one of the PhD uh, THM D Min study carols. So this is again a, a locked room. This is mine. It's got a bunch of comics on the front because I like comics. Here we go. This little light of mine is now on. So it's a pretty small space. You can already see the, the back wall not long after I open the door, right? Like immediately. Um, they graciously supplied a wooden desk here and uh, a wooden chair there. Um, it's a pretty small space. It is. So you can see the soundproofing on the walls behind me. And there's this glass window here, uh, which I actually forget why that window is there. Uh, that leads into another room. There's a hallway there that uh, allows you to look in. So it's, it's a space that provides you an opportunity to just kind of get away and... Um, study, get your work done. Uh, for myself, I've got pictures up of family, which you can see behind me, and um, I've got uh, too many books on the shelves there. Uh, they're going vertically now instead of horizontally because there's just too many. Uh, I've had this carol for over seven years. That's old, longer than my first child was born. My first child was born after I've had this place and I've had this, I've been renting it for about seven years. So it's it's one little corner, one little piece of the library, but uh, a meaningful one to me, uh, very helpful, very helpful to a lot of others as well. Uh, right near us is a, a large room that's currently being used as archives because it's got the only air conditioning in the whole building, which I'm quite envious of on hot days. It was, uh, in past years, a TV station run out of this library building by the seminary, by seminary staff. And now it is, for the moment, 
for the archives section where they can lock things away that shouldn't circulate and keeping it dry and relatively cool. So that's all for a little tour of the PhD study carol. The next one will be even better because it will be a tour of the full building. God bless you. Bye-bye.